down by a capital L. Okay, draw a line, capital L. Okay, so now that that's in there, I was like, I knew I got that right, but I've been so new to the debug draw line feature that I wanted to make sure. So here we go. So when I approach the character, check this out, nothing happens until I go to the other side, and then this magical line appears. This magical line in the de this console or scene window basically states this is where the ray casting is and it shows that it is working isn't that cool so that's a great way to see uh, ray cast and then there's draw lines and there's draw rays too you should check the code at unity3d.com for the debug feature to show you all kinds of nifty debug things that you can do well that was pretty easy as far as the left hand side goes so now what happens well I mirror it okay and what that means is over here I simply copy this code and paste it and it becomes right and now I should start commenting stuff like this is going to be left Okay, and this is going to be right. There we go. So what's the difference between left and right? Well, a negative vector. That's all it is. And the fact that now this is called right instead of left. So now you're starting to see that, you know, it's very easy to cast rays in many different directions at once. Uh, and if you were doing this as a 3D application instead of a 2D application, it would be no big deal because you can just cast rays everywhere. There we go. See? Red line means it's casting. And then red line equals casting. Good. Now, let's do one more for the up position in case, you know, later on I want to do something like lerp him or something. So, control C, control B. And this one's going to be called vector three up. And since up, this side of up is positive, I leave it alone. And this is going to be up. Oops. And now what I wanna do is copy this if statement if up tab will return those and this is going to be up and now you can assign different colors here's red if I want up to be green I could do that that way it would signify um, the up position you know red green blue and for each one of these I want to try it out to make sure they work before I go on to the next bit of code. Are we going to be using these as, as far as they go? Well, just for debugging purposes only, so that's what I would say. They, I can't use them as a trigger mechanism if line cast debug equals true. You can't do that, I don't think. But for right now, for the aesthetics of it all, it's kind of neat. Okay. The, enemy I don't want to be able to tip him over at all so I want to put a mass of like 100 out there for him because once he tips over well what happens well ever all the directions switch and then I won't know what's going on all right good now let's see what is next well I have to have the ability to shut all this off, okay? And to shut it off, all I do is have to say something else out here. And it's, so what happens? This happens, it returns. This happens, it returns. This happens, it returns. And that's what needs to happen. So for each one of these, I need to write a return statement to the top. So if it's left, that's good. 
if it's right, that's good. But after it sees it's right, let's go away now. I don't need your help anymore. And then the next statement needs a return because I'm going to say, I'm going to put a, a print statement out here called print. Um, I can't see you. Okay, and then I'll put a return. So it should say, I can't see you. And then I can see my raycast. Now the problem with this code is it, it doesn't update. See, once it says, I can't see you, what happens? Nothing. So, you know, the print statements have a limited feature that way. You know, you can use them definitely, but, you know, some other ways to do it, you know, as I showed you earlier, you can cast it onto the screen using my debug script too. Or you can just do it this way. having a case of uh, juggling applications. So let's limit that one. There we go. So now I got these two. So now what's going to happen is I can't see you. And when I jump over it, it should print left. Good. So it has some form of AI. It's semi-intelligent. And that's what I need it to be. So semi-intelligent hurts because now it's a new game of damage and that's coming up in the next video.